When working with machine formats, you should select, if you don't display, you should at least select the hoop that you need for specific machines. And the way that you can do that is very simple. You simply go up to View, and then View Preferences from the main menu. In View Preferences, you have an option that's called Hoop Original Point. Click on Hoop Original Point, and here you'll see there's a custom hoop, and that's generally checked as the default. Move down to the machine hoop type. In the machine hoop type, you will see there's all of the major home embroidery machine formats listed. Click on the machine that represents your brand. And then if you look from the drop down menu below your machine brand, you will see that there are a number of machines listed. Go ahead and select the machine and then go ahead and select the hoop that you need. For example, if you know your design is going to be 140 by 140, select that hoop. If you want to show the hoop on your screen, you know, please follow my mouse down, you're going to see the show hoop option. If you don't want to display the hoop, don't place a check mark here. If you want to see the hoop on your screen, go ahead and place a check mark in show hoop. Click OK. And there's my hoop on the screen. Now, in order to send this out to my machine format, there are a couple things that you should check. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of grab a couple things here and, you know, send them out to my machine. And we'll just throw a couple designs in here. So now I've got a design. I want to send this out to my particular brand of machine. In the import export options, you will see the little gold sewing machine. It's called enhanced export. Go ahead and click on that. And what opens is a little dialog box. From here, you're going to select where you wish to send the designs to. For example, if you have a USB stick, if you're using a USB stick that is programmed specifically to your machine, please make sure that you put these designs in the proper folder. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, send these out to my documents. Make sure you give your design a name. And then select the format from the drop down here and make sure that it's the format for your machine type. Otherwise, your machine will not be able to read the design. So I'm going to go ahead and select the format I need and save it. Now that the hoop information has been added and this has been saved in the format for your machine, Go ahead and transfer this to your, your card or to your USB stick if you've not already copied it to that and open the design up in your sewing machine. 